In June of last year, NASA commissioned an independent study team to examine unidentified anomalous phenomena. We did so with a few goals in mind. First, to examine how NASA can use our expertise and instruments to study UAP from a scientific perspective. Second, shift the conversation about UAP from sensationalism to science and to make sure that whatever we find or whatever we recommend, to make sure that information is shared transparently. If you ask me, do I believe there's life in a universe that is so vast that it's hard for me to comprehend how big it is? My personal answer is yes. But I asked some of our scientists. As a matter of fact, uh, the Washington Post editorial board asked us to come down to the question, what is the mathematical probability that there is life out there in the universe? And if you calculate in billions of stars, in billions of galaxies, that there's replicated what I just said, another stony planet. The answer was, what's the likelihood? At least a trillion. And the top takeaway from the study is that there is a lot more to learn. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin. But we don't know what these UAP are. That's why I'm announcing that NASA has appointed a NASA director of UAP research. Based on our current findings and methodology, that we find no evidence to suggest that UAP are extraterrestrial in origin. Our focus is on understanding the phenomenon, however, regardless of the source. And previous work from the IRO has shown that most events are explainable as planes, balloons, drones, weather phenomenon, and instrument features. We NASA deal openly and we will be transparent on this. And we're trying to address the, uh, the question of there's so much uh, concern that there's something locked up, classified, uh, and that the, the American government is not being open. Uh, well, we are the American government, and we are open, and we're going to be open about this. The reasons that we restricted ourselves, this study, to unclassified data is because we can speak openly about it. And in so doing, we're aiming, again, to alter the discourse from sensationalism to science, as uh, Administrator Nelson beautifully said. Um, NASA personnel, as appropriate, know how to talk to DOD in, on a classified basis. But the purpose of this study was to tell us what open data we could use in combination with the power of science to move our understanding forward.